Welcome to this short video explaining the basic use of forceps for exodontia. It's important that you appreciate the use of elevators and also luxators, but this will explain the basic principles of forceps use. It's important that you do not just learn the numbers of the forceps, but learn the anatomy of the forceps and how they are applied in the mouth. Not all forceps will carry numbers, and it's essential that you can recognise the anatomical features of forceps and how you use them clinically. Please use this video in conjunction with the teaching material for the exodontia tutorial. Here we can see a selection of forceps for both right-handed and left-handed operators. Initially, separate your forceps out and you will be able to identify that these forceps on the left-hand side are for a right-handed operator due to the curvature being where your fingers would be. For example, a right-handed operator would hold the forceps like so as opposed to these three, where a left-handed operator would hold them like this, with the curve with the fingers. These forceps are universal and can be used by either a right-handed operator or a left-handed operator. And these forceps also for lower extractions can be used for a right-handed or a left-handed operator. Focusing on the forceps on the top row, these forceps can be used for molar extractions and it's important to distinguish between the beaks of the forceps. The beak should be towards the cheek of the patient. So for example, these forceps for a left-handed operator, the beak would go to the cheek, therefore they would extract upper left molars. Conversely, these right-handed forceps would extract the upper left molars because the beak is also to the cheek. It's important to distinguish between your molar forceps with the beak being to the cheek. So these are for the upper left and these are for the upper right. The other forceps you see here are for premolar extractions, so upper fours and upper fives. You'll note that they do not have a, a beak and the universal straight forceps are used for anterior teeth so upper incisors and canines. The two forceps here are for lower extractions. These are used for anterior teeth, including the premolars. And these you will notice have beaks similar to the upper forceps, and these are for lower molars. The beaks on all of the molar forceps are intended to aim towards the fication of the tooth. This video demonstrates extraction techniques for a right-handed operator. Where appropriate, I've discussed the different forceps for a left-handed operator. The principles are the same for a left-handed operator, but reverse the positioning. This is further detailed in your extraction tutorial. So to extract the upper right molars, I'm going to demonstrate here as a right-handed operator, the beak goes towards the cheek, so it's buccal, and the curvature of the forceps are towards the fingers. The patient should be at about elbow height in the chair and 45 degrees. With a non-dominant hand, ensure that you support the alveolus and then ensure you have the correct tooth before placing the forceps in an apical direction, pushing apically, ensuring that you then support the alveolus and gently push buccal and slowly bring the forceps back to the midline and ensure you continue with a buccal motion back to the midline until the tooth starts to mobilise. Once the tooth has been extracted, you then ensure that you have the apices on the tooth you've extracted and squeeze the socket. This video will demonstrate the extraction of the upper left molars. And again, as a right-handed operator, the curvature of the forceps is to my fingers and the beak goes to the cheek so it's buccal. With your non-dominant hand, support the alveolus and ensure the soft tissues are out of the way. Drive the forceps apically up the molar tooth ensuring that you have a good grip, gentle buccal movement, gentle buccal movement back to the midline and extract the tooth as we did for the upper right. Again, check the apices once the tooth has been extracted and squeeze the sockets to ensure hemostasis. To extract upper left premolars, again as a right-handed operator, your forceps will have a curve towards your fingertips and there's a single beak on these forceps. With the non-dominant hand, support the alveolus Ensure the forceps are on the correct tooth, slide them up apically onto the root surface 
and with premolars in the maxilla ensure a rotational movement with some buccal delivery. Again ensure that you check the apices once it's been extracted and squeeze the socket. As a right-handed operator I'm going to extract an upper central incisor. These forceps are universal whether you're right-handed or left-handed. They have a single beak with your left hand support the alveolus. Drive the forceps up onto the root surface and for anterior teeth from three to three rotate and then eventually the tooth will be delivered through the socket. Ensure the apices are intact. To remove molar teeth the forceps are universal whether you are right-handed or left-handed. As a right-handed operator you want to be stood for lower right extractions behind the patient with your non-dominant hand supporting the mandible. Ensure that your thumb is lingual, your fingers are buccal and underneath the mandible. The forceps need to be opened, placed on the correct molar tooth, driven down apically and then a figure of eight motion to expand the socket and then deliver the tooth buccally. Again ensure that you check the apices once it's been extracted and squeeze the socket. To extract the lower left molars, as a right-handed operator you would stand in front of the patient with the same principles, non-dominant hand supporting the mandible and the forceps ensuring they're on the correct tooth, drive them down with a figure of eight motion and deliver the tooth buccally. Again check the apices and squeeze the socket ensuring hemostasis. Extracting lower anterior teeth to the midline you want to stand behind the patient and again for premolars and incisors rotational movement supporting with your non-dominant hand the mandible to rotate the conical roots and then deliver buccally. When you pass the midline I would suggest you stand in front of the patient to extract lower left teeth. Ensuring that your non-dominant hand supports the mandible and you rotate the anterior teeth to deliver buccally. Ensuring your apices are intact.